Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to my Season 2 of the Pokemon Premier League Team Analysis. We are no longer Tottenham Hot Esper. We are Norwich Skitty, and we are here to do business in the PPL this season. Now, I'm sorry if I sound frustrated at all, kind of annoyed um, halfway through the video. This is the second attempt at recording this because I recorded a half an hour video. I've done all the editing, GFX. Went to uh, check it before I rendered it. Forgot to record myself. Forgot to record my voice. Sorry, I had my webcam on. Uh, forgot to select my microphone on XSplit. And now here I am doing it all again. So I'm sorry if I sound frustrated or angry at all um, during the video. By the way, guys, Norwich Ski T-shirt. I'm, I'm wearing it proud, boys. I'm wearing it proud. Because I want to mean business this season. Last season wasn't the best. I would have avoided the relegation and relegation playoffs. So uh, I guess last season was too much of a failure. It wasn't too much of a failure. Um, but this season we want to we want to go higher. We want to go that little step higher. If it takes seasons upon seasons before we can get anywhere near the top, that's fine. As long as I'm not relegated this season, I'm happy because I don't want to be the first one to do that. Anyway, if I do go down, there'll be at least two others going down, or one other going down, potentially two going down with me. So it wouldn't be the end of the world. Anyway, let's get into my team. So. I had two initial draft plans, and one of them just went out the window straight away because at least three people before me wanted Sylveon, I think, so there's that. Um, I think it went RTK got Sylveon round one, which meant Ethan got sniped, which meant he picked up... But no, he wanted Clefable anyway. Um, no, hang on, let me get this right. Ethan picked Clefable first, which is what... Um, RTK wanted, so RTK then picked Sylveon, which is what Shardy wanted, so then Shardy picked Togekiss, and that was my fairy idea. My fairy idea was gone, I wanted Sylveon originally uh, to partner with Excadrill, and then I thought, well crap, time to go to plan two, which worked out pretty well for me. So, Pokemon number one I managed to pick up was Weavile, also known as Sweeney. I'll put all the nicknames down there, because I'm, I'm pretty, pretty proud of some of these. Um, so we need the Weavile. Now, Weavile is fantastic. Uh, it's a fantastic one. It has speed, it hits hard, obviously it's frail, but it gets Stab Knockoff, Stab Pursuit, Ice Shard, Ice Crash, Ice Punch if I don't want to miss for some reason, um, a Poison Jab, Fake Out, Low Kick? Yeah, Low Kick. Um, it's, it's a great mon, as Troy proved last season. Uh, in PPL Division 1 when he picked up halfway through. It was a top performer for him. So I figured, you know what? Um, Weavile seems like a nice pick to have because I do like some fast offense. And it actually worked out pretty well for me later on, as you'll see, because my draft plan had to change a tiny bit due to some snipes, which we'll talk about later. So Weavile, fast, hits hard, priority, trap psychic types, which um, bulky psychic types never want to try and kill. But I don't really fear bulky psychics too much, I don't think. Um, but Weavile's here, yeah. It's oh, also great at dragons. Lots of dragons went this season. Um, Latias, Latios, Haxorus. I think even Dragonite might have gone. Um, High Dragon. Ice Shard is going to be handy this season. Flying types as well, of course. Um, so Weavile, I'm really looking forward to using. I'm used to using him. Um, more than a lot of other higher tier Pokemon, so I felt quite comfortable going for him. I also thought he might be a Pokemon that goes relatively quickly because he is such a good mod. Um, I don't actually know if anyone had him in their plans originally because no one moaned when I picked him, um, which normally happens when you know you snipe someone. So there's that. Anyway, next Pokemon, Potato the Heatran. Now I'm pretty sure Potato is what Ellie called hers last season, but I've always called my Heatran's Potato. Um, it's just a solid fire type. I basically wanted the steel type. Um, fire type is a fantastic defensive typing on its own. Normally with steel, obviously you got the quad, the quad weakness to ground, but the steel obviously as well gives you a lot of resistances and the immunity to poison, which is always nice. The quad resists fairy. I mean, that's what you want when you've got Sylveon, Mega Altaria, which does get earthquake. Um, lots of scary fairies basically um, running around. And it's just a generally good mon. The only thing it lacks is obviously a reliable recovery, apart from, well, rest isn't reliable. Um, 
well and he well uh, people are gonna argue that now but all right you know what I mean doesn't get recover moonlight rest something like that so uh, but it does get will wisp flash fire is fantastic for an ability especially uh, with some one Pokemon two Pokemon actually later on you'll see um, stealth rocks been say raw for phasing lava plume if I don't want to run will o wisp I can run lava plume which has a good chance to burn but you know I just it also deals damage. Flash Cannon uh, gets some other nice moves. Obviously, gets in power, ancient power. I'm pretty sure it gets earth power too. Um, so it's a nice mon. It's primarily there to probably be bulkier than offense, more than more than offensive. But I can bring offensive Heatran, which is always nice. And fairies beware. Heatran's about. So. Next pick, oh sorry, I meant to say I was last in the pick, so I picked two in a row, which is why I picked Heatran and uh, Weavile straight away, because I figured they'd be ones that would be probably in uh, quite high demand, because they're pretty good mon. Next uh, was lower on my initial draft plan. I was I was planning on always getting it, but not this early. But I picked Aromatis third, mainly because Sylveon, Clefable, um, Mega Altaria, Togekiss, Azumarill had all gone, and I was like, right, there's this Togetic and Whimsicott left, and I went straight for Aromatis. Aromatis was planned anyway. I needed a Wish Passer, I need a Cleric. Um, bulk, Fairy Bulk is fantastic. Aromatis can also hit quite hard as well. It's not the hardest hitting Fairy out there, but, you know, it does a job. Oh, and also Gardevoir had gone at this point, because that's another Wish Passing Fairy. Um, but Aromatis I used last season, I'm fairly comfortable using it, it's a good mon. You can also use Trick Room for offense. It's got fantastic move pool. Uh, well, actually I say it's got fantastic, it hasn't got fantastic move pool, but it's got a wide enough move pool to make it uh, a good mon. I'm pretty sure it gets Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Psyshock, Moonblast, um, uh, Calm Mind, maybe, I, mm, you get Wish, uh, it's Ability, uh, what is it, Aroma Veil? stops from being taunted which is really nice so uh, it can wish past to its heart's content so it's a really good mon of what it does um, trick room option is quite nice as well uh, based on looking at some of my latest Pokemon you might realize why so I remember this was round three then round four this also wasn't planned to go this early um, but I felt like I had to secure it for myself uh, Shadi picked Jolteon and now myself I would consider there to be quite a few good electric types um, but they're definitely not enough to go around the whole of the draft, so I wanted to get my electric type quick. So the, the good electric types I'd class are Jolteon, Heliolisk, Thunderous, uh, both of the Thunderouses. Um, did I say Zapdos? I don't know if I said Zapdos or not. And what was the other one? I've completely, it's completely gone out of my mind now. Jolteon, Heliolisk, Zapdos, Thunderous, both of them, and Raikou, that's the one. Oh, and I just knocked a load of money off my uh, my radio. Um, they're the good ones, and considering Jolteon had gone, it would be Raichu, Electrode, or um, Magneton, or Helios that I really could fit into my budget if Helios was to go. So I felt like picking Heliolisk next was my best bet. Um, I could live without some of the other ones I had planned, but Heliolisk is nice for momentum, especially as you'll see. I don't have anyone with U turn, I don't think, so at least having some sort of momentum and Volt Switch is nice. So, obviously it gets Dry Skin, which is a fantastic ability, it means water, recovers HP, uh, rain also helps, obviously it's the complete opposite in the sun, and fire type attacks, completely roast Heliolisk, um, but it's a good ability, solar power as well if I fancy bringing a sun team for some reason, um, it's Surf, Focus Blast, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, Dark Pulse, Hyper Voice, fantastic, that's, all, that's what you need from a fast electric type, nice versatility there. Um, it can run Specs, Scarf, Life Orb, Assault Vest even. Um, it's a good mon, and I'm glad that I did manage to pick it up. Parabolic Charge as well, by the way. Um, not the strongest of moves, but hey, it's health back. Could come useful in the long run. So, Hedisk was my fourth pick. Um, fifth pick, which I don't think many people are happy with me picking because... It's... Yeah, they were like, Jack, you're getting Chris again. And I'm like, no, I'm not getting Chris again, don't worry. Uh, I've got Mega Slowbro instead. Um... Mega Slowbro is pretty bulky, and to say pretty bulky is probably an understatement. 180 physical defense. Special defense is a bit more lackluster, but it gets Calm Mind, which covers that, and obviously it cannot be critical. It cannot be critted. 
um, which means the boosts are there to stay, the defense boosts just help enormously. And this thing is going to be a monster. I just have really good hopes for Mega Slowbro. Um, it tanks hits for days on the physical side. Bring it in on a physical mon. Just set up a calm mind. You know, the. If you can get a free switch in Mega Evolve and get a calm mind up, you are there to do some damage. You are. It's going to hurt so much. 130 base, uh, 130 base special attack is also not, not amazing, but especially not bad. Um. Shouldn't be ignored. Uh, it's just bulky offense, and I think that's what I was missing a lot of last season. So I figured this season, why not get one of the best in the game? Um, it it can do a job. It can seriously do a job, and I really hope that it can because I haven't actually used it much. I used it on a stream once, uh, practicing with this team actually, and it swept twice, uh, and it got lots of other kills and the others. So. I'm pretty happy that I'm going to pick it up. I don't think anyone else is really considering it, so I could have probably left it later on. Because uh, I did get sniped in my next pick, but I couldn't. Uh, picking it fifth wouldn't have mattered, because like I said, I'm last pick. Um, I get two picks in a row, but the Pokemon I wanted had been sniped at this point. Um, also, by the way, Crit Me Spears. I thought that was like a fantastic, genius nickname, by the way. Um, I'm pretty proud of that one. Um, so that was Mega Slowbro. Next up. I really want a Don fan. I know you might like, oh, it's your mascot. You only want it because it's mascot. No, actually, I, I really wanted it because I want an electric community. Um, and I didn't actually ever manage to get one this season, which is quite bad. Uh, yeah. Um, but I wanted mainly, I wanted a spinner, someone who can set up rocks and someone who can hit hard. I had to sacrifice the hitting hard bit here with my alternative pick, but it does a lot of other things better too. And it actually synergizes quite well with uh, Heatran. And this Pokemon is Fortress. And Stealth Rocks, which also frees up a move slot on Heatran, by the way. He can also set up rocks. Uh, if I put rocks on my Fortress, I can get spikes, I can get toxic spikes, rapid spin, volt switch, some more momentum. Not U turn, though. Um, gyro Ball. Um, I'm sure it gets some other fun move. Explosion. Um, you know, Fortress is probably like more of a one trick pony, but it's reliable at what it does. Um, knowing if I pick Fortress, I'd have to focus a lot more effort on getting another defogger or spinner down the line meant I, I, I had well no I had to do it because I couldn't rely on Fortress to do it because that means Fortress would come every week and it would make it easy to team build around so Fortress uh, solid physical wall only weak to fire and obviously I have heat trance if you want to start shooting fire at me you can try um, so yeah I think it synergizes quite well with Heatran as well. It takes away a bit of a ground weakness too. Um, so that's Fortress, Bulk and Spikes and stuff. So then the draft went along and came back to me and I didn't get sniped this time which is fun because uh, I don't like being sniped. Poor Shardy and Rai, both their draft plans went out of the window because they got sniped so hard. Um, but it's their fault for picking Mons which are obviously too good. Um, so next up we have Hitmonchan, uh, Glassjaw. Hitmonchan, uh, people are saying that people think that it might actually do something in this format. It doesn't do much in Smogun, unfortunately, but it gets a good move pool. Uh, it can hit hard. It's bulky on the special side, really bulky on the special side. It's not fast, but it does get mock. Uh, I say mock punch, and I don't know why I've ever gotten into the habit of saying that. Mac punch, bullet punch, and fake out. So it's got priority. It gets rapid spin, uh, close combat. I'm pretty sure it gets high jump kick for some reason, uh, because him Lee gets in breeding. Um, Elemental Punches, uh, Sky Pika gets boosted by Iron Fist, I, I, I found that out, that, that's nice. Um, Drain Punch is nice, it, it just, it's good. Agility, Earthquake, pretty, might get Stone Edge too. Uh, it's a good mon, it's a nice mon to have, it hits hard with Iron Fist, Mock, Mac, Mac, Mac Punch. Uh, Bullet Punch for Fairies, obviously, it is a bit weak to Fairies, and it does get Pursuit for Psychic Tights, but it's not going to do much, is it? Um, but I have other things that can take care of them, which is why Hitmonchan I thought fit quite well. This was also a spinner. Hitmonlee had gone, Hitmontop had gone, um, so I felt like I had to get Hitmonchan soon. I had always decided on Hitmonchan out of the three, but because they're both gone and they're both pretty good mons, I figured right Hitmonchan might go, and turns out Kino was going to pick it next, so I'm rather glad I picked it. Um, so that's Hitmonchan, there for some bulk and offense. 8th pick is Weezing, now it turns out I also sniped Shroom with this, um, but I think he's got Furfru instead. Uh, and this is Weezing, Puff Daddy, 
Uh, I needed a poison type. I needed a ground immunity, um, which is fantastic. That I got wheezing. It can hit hard, relatively hard anyway on the special side. Um, it's going to be one of the main things for fairies, which isn't fantastic because as an offensive mon, you, you don't see it more as an offensive mon. You see it more as a bulky mon because its defense is fantastic. Uh, Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, Pain Split, Sludge Bomb, Fire Blast, Toxic Spikes, I think it gets as well. Um, Destiny Bond, great if someone's on a rampage, you know, just Destiny Bond away. Um, so I'm quite happy I got Weezing. I'm used to using Weezing too. I love this thing in the lower tiers, so I'm quite comfortable with using it, and I'm happy that I got it because it's something I can use. Um, and I think it was drafted last year and not used very well at all, or even used at all. Um, which really upset me. I tried to buy it actually, I think it was off Troy, and he was going to do it up until the last second where I think someone persuaded him not to. Probably the person who I was about to face who would have completely walled, but never mind. Um, so that's Weezing. Weezing I'm pretty happy I got. I needed someone with Will-O-Wisp other than Heatran, so it offers, it offers a nice little um, mixture there. Uh, next up, we got sniped. I wanted Haxorus. But, because I got sniped on Domfan, who was worth £10 million, I got Fortress, who was worth £9 million. Now, this £1 million enabled me to go and get one of the original Tottenham Hot Esper players, drafted really early on last time. I used Abyssinally, and is now known as HP Dragon. It is Salamence, and I'm actually really glad I got Salamence now instead of Haxorus. It's faster, it hits almost just as hard, it can hit specially. Dragon Dance, I know Haxorus gets Dragon Dance, but I'm faster anyway. Scarfed option, obviously Haxorus gets that too. I am flying, immune to ground, obviously weaker to rocks, immune to spikes. Intimidate is a fantastic ability. Obviously Haxorus gets Mold Breaker, which is a fantastic, uh, levitating things weak to ground. No, no, not safe. Uh, yeah, I'm just happy I got Salamence in the end. There's so many things it can do. Bulky as well. That I, that's the ones I used it with the best last time against Shardy. If I hadn't have had HP Dragon and had HP Ice like I was meant to, I might have actually managed to win that game. Wish Deep. Another, this is a Defogger as well that I got, so I now have three options to get rid of Hazards, which is really good. Um, I'm not that weak to Hazards anyway. Rocks especially. Only meant to Drio and Weavile. Um, so three of 11. 10, sorry, isn't bad. To be honest, um, so yeah, Happy Mence is, is here. It's got a, probably got a better move pool as well, just about because it can hit specially. Obviously, it's hard to predict what Mence is going to do. Moxie Mence as well. Moxie is an ability <sighs> that's scary that I unfortunately didn't manage to use well last time. But anyway, um, finally, th this is the Pokemon I actually sort of decided I wanted halfway through because I originally planned Swallow. Then I kind of changed my mind when I got sniped a bit late uh, uh, earlier on. And I looked at Dodri, I want a bird spam, because main, mainly because of Mega Venusaur, really. I looked at my team and thought, crap, I have nothing for Mega Venusaur. I have Slowbro, um, but obviously I'll, I won't will appreciate a grass attack. So, I figured I'd go for something that has a better chance of killing it. Which turns out to be Dodrio, as RTK was posting uh, Calcs in Skype earlier today. It has a very good chance of killing uh, Mega Venusaur. <laughs> so its move pool is limited. I'll give you that. But it—I it, mean, Brave Bird. I mean, Bird Spam is glorious. 110 base attack, 100 speed. That's all I need. It gets quick attack. So priority is there. Brave Bird return. Uh, it might even get double edge. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Natural Gift Pursuit. Uh, it's it, it's looking good. I don't know if it gets Defog. I don't think it does. I'll have to look into it more. Um, that would be a fourth Defog, and not that I'd want to use a Defog Dodrio anyway. So, that's the team. That is the team. Sorry if I missed out lots of interesting things that you're going to point out to me in the comments below. I did cover it all, but now it's just gone because I don't like an hour ago and I just... I was frustrated that I lost what I had. Um, so make sure you guys follow Norriskitty. Don't follow anyone else in the PBL. Just follow me. Just follow me. Nah. Go follow all the coaches, obviously. Go follow their team's progress, but support Norriskitty. That's the word I was looking for. Um... Yeah, I feel like this team's better than I had last season, even though I had some massive threats like Terrakion, Mega Alakazam, uh, Crest to be Crest, you know. It's The team was good last year, I didn't use it well. This team is good. Um, publicly, people have said it's good, which actually makes me happy because last time they weren't so pleased with my picks. Um, 
So hopefully I can do people proud, and myself proud. As long as I don't get in the relegation dogfight, I'm happy. Week 1 is against Necros Devo. There will be a team analysis up once I've had my battle with them. Obviously, I don't want them seeing my team analysis. Talking about team analysis, I actually should go finish my team for later. Um, but yeah, that's for a different time. Thank you for watching this uh, uh, video, guys, on my PPL draft uh, for Season 2. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to follow the progress of Norris Kitty in PPL Season 2, we want to push on this season. We want we want to go places. We want to finish above Shardy so we can stop shit talking the amount that he does. God damn it. That would be the best thing in the world, finishing above Shardy, even if it meant I came 11th and he came 12th. Probably won't happen, but you know. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.